she's a very responsible, reliable, God-fearing, respectful, oh, I don't know what word I will find to describe her as the most reliable woman for marriage. Ah, Omojo Lari, Timpere Lolani, the father of his father was a good driver in our local government. He was even in uh, military service for some time. The trouble with him, he must learn to eat good food. The food that is not going to push his stomach or push his eyes. If you eat wrong food that will shake in your brain or shake in your eyes, ah, you will misbehave. Let, let, let's quickly go back uh, to um, uh, Iwo. I mean, yes, yes. because is home now. Yes, Iwo is your home. But uh, there are a lot of things going on there. Just this weekend now, because yesterday when we were trying to call your aides to talk to you, we just had the breaking news that uh, your very young uh, KBC, the Olu of Iwo, divorce is a uh, Jamaican wife. That is Olori. His wife, no, they say it true. the wife divorced him. Well, we saw a press release by his, one of his aides saying that that woman has been clamoring to find a way of escape. That's why you don't see her out with him again. That woman has been clamoring to escape from the from the semi imprisonment of marriage. Semi imprisonment of marriage. Uh, <laughs> and the woman eventually, luckily, cajoled him into going with her to Canada for holiday. When she got there with her parents fought out to withdraw for that marriage. And it happened to him before. The previous marriage went through the same thing that he was even banned from going near the mother of his previous marriage. Hmm. So was that one a foreigner? No, you're, uh, uh, that one is from Plateau. The mother was working in the Nigerian uh, house. And uh, this girl married him and had two kids for him. I don't know what happened. They went to court and they barred him from ever going near that woman. So you mean it was Olori Channel? Because the first time I saw the Olori, it was inside this parlor that I saw when they came for the wedding of your daughter. And yes, they came first for the, the wedding of your daughter, the one that you had from Edo State, from the, your former wife in Edo State, and the, uh, uh, yeah, and the second marriage of another beautiful of your daughter, uh, the, the banker. I saw, I think she came uh, the Olori Channel also, and she's a very gentle, easygoing person. I don't see her, somebody who can talk. She's very quiet, very responsible. But she suffered. I'll never pray for any of my daughters to get into that kind of experience in life. Serious. That woman, I know, when if she gets to know what Oluwu has said of her, I'm sure she might come out to speak. All the threats, I think it doesn't really matter to her. I am aware on a special serious information that that woman has been finding a way and you don't see the woman go out alone to go and shop yes i noticed that she's not one of those oluris never go out without being uh aided yes 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 chanel he has sacked her yes it is it's also 
Now it is so destructive things that she says of her. What is the cause of their separation? She, he should tell the world. He said, he said, oh, he reconciled. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask that, that are they truly legally married? Uh, you see, you remember people say, Owo lupara, o si loko paro. Owo lupara, o si loko paro. They just introduced a man to you in a uh, uh, old boy who brought them, the girl, two of them. Uh, introduced to you, to the girl, and uh, the other of uh, uh, legacy. Now suggested that uh, Olugo. Uh, this girl is good for you from Canada. He's uh, keeping an elderly woman because he was going out with the good woman, a woman of God, a woman of love, who made it possible for him to be able and advise him to marry this girl. And you know the girl facing Nigeria first time. There were two of our boys who brought her. There is uh, uh, Remy Ishola. Uh, Morgan. Morgan, yes. Morgan and another one. Oh, and another of our boys who is still in uh, uh, Canada. Who is the employer of that girl that brought her? And they all supported it that who should marry her. And from that day, the girl also crept in. And from that night, the girl has been with Olugu until she delivered her baby. The girl was kept in the house. I was financing them. I was financing both Olugu and the girl. As a matter of the pregnancy, I am the one who paid $2,000 for the bills when she went to deliver in Canada. So, that, that, I don't know whether that was any leg or something. I don't know. But that girl also quarreled with Olu before because of me. When Olu was at misbehaving that, why should you do this to the man who has helped us to, su to sustain this seat? And uh, there are so many rumors gaining grants in the palace too. I don't know. If uh, Ulu, and Ulu are not going to access with other people so, so that makes you want to suspect immoral activities. Yeah. The, uh, the married, no, the first wife is another Yoruba girl. That one crushed. Then he went to Canada and then met a girl whose mother was working in a Nigerian mission and uh, from uh, Plato and had kids for him, for him. Well, from information, they quarrelled. The lady also went and withdrew a relationship. She's on her own. I understand it was bad from ever visiting that woman up to now. I don't know. So, but how will you define Olori Chanel? Because anytime I see her in your company, those day when she comes for those events, she's always greeting you with humility. Yeah. And and to be honest with you, she does not talk. Even most of the time, we try to get closer to her. She does not talk. But it, she appears to be a kind of opposite of what her husband is. So who is she? How how will you define her? She's a very responsible, reliable, God-fearing, respectful. Oh, I don't know what word I will find to describe her as the most reliable woman for marriage. For marriage. 
Do you think that Olu has missed something by saying he sacked her? Ah, Olu does never, never, will never miss anything because he doesn't see any any importance in anything. <laughs> if he can do what he did to the person who helped make him the king, and he can do what he did to me that I financed him, clocked him, furnished a palace. He has never lived in the kind of house that I established and furnished with five million naira. All the furnitures in that palace. We have the pictures of this picture. Very, very wonderful. Uh, so, if we can do that to anybody, and he has tried to put many people in jail, only two weeks ago, the AIG called the meeting of all the traditional rulers in the, of all the whole kingdom to settle crisis with him and ended up, according to the traditional rulers, ended up brought thugs to chase them out of the hall to the extent that when the AIG arrived, he went away in anger. And uh, each time uh, anything happens, Ulu boasts that he was going to meet uh, the vice president. The vice president would do anything to punish anybody against him. I, the vice president has his own problem. I don't think he has time for that kind of thing. But I can only tell the vice president to be careful. To be careful. Because uh, Baba Ajani, you if you if you, if you relate and make friends with a dog, you must eat the shit. Yes, creature of the dog. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm shit, shit, you bet, you bet. But uh, what, from what we gathered, because you are not in, con in the country, uh, we, we gather you are in the UK when that one happened. We learned that there was a land dispute that only we said. No uh, land dispute. Uh, yeah, no, we learned that. Okay, there is a suburb of Lagos. I can only. There is a legacy, there is a also law, there is this. Once they have been made king with a particular land mass where they are presiding over their fears, nobody, you cannot go back to the whole history or only anything that is for my father. Which father? The government has made them king and you also signed the it is something. Any land under their domain belongs to them. You cannot now go from a war and say they were under a war, they have no right. Like Ilego was said to have settled. In Ilego, before he war, Igege was said to have been there before he war. Can you now say the land that they were presiding over belongs to you that came after her and from you oh, but uh, he can never win the contest he is fighting all the traditional rulers he wrote a petition asking the police to put them to jail that they are selling their father's property he is claiming ownership how can he he won't look at government he won't look at government you can only preside over he won't look at government and as the chairman of the traditional council of a whole land is uh, is a marriage of convenience that somebody must preside over the money that comes from the state to to distribute. Okay. Yes, all right. They all they all traditional rulers. In their own right. They, they, uh, oh, they were all given certificate by the state government. They are licensed, like you are licensed. There could be seniority in the rank. But everybody else is like, okay, this is going to come out. People who live around me, they are good. The FHA that sold the property to me, the land to me, they cannot come and tell me that they were the people sold to me. Even if you made them the other, once they have been given the proper license and they are separated from you, they, they, they hair mark their own areas of jurisdiction. Wherever they are covering as king, they have a right to make give cheap tenancy title to handle the land there. And you are saying no, they don't have. Why is all uh, above Lagos not quarrelling with uh, a legacy <laughs> or a solo or Niru selling their own lands? This is the question.
One you are number covering an area, you are the sole authority of that area. And you cannot win that kind of thing. Should, they, they should just play with him not to be childish anymore and try to be decent. Are you ashamed that you are from Iwula? I am, I am very, very seriously ashamed. I have done my best. My, doing my best caused all the insults, which I have sued him to court. I have sued him for billions of naira. We are still there. He's always running away from the court. He has been. He saw him about so many, many, many money. Now, last week, last week, the case came up before I caught in Asia. He was asked to pay us ten thousand because he, he has. He, he does. If I, he's boasting that uh, uh, the vice president will clear the whole thing in appeal, he will be appealing. He's appealing. He has five appeals now in court against the judgment I got. But sincerely, Daddy, can you say precisely the problem Olu is having? Why these controversies around him? Why? What do you think could be responsible for his unending controversies? Ah, I'm Larry. Tim Larry. The father of his father was a good driver in our local government. He was even in uh, military service for some time. The man was very quiet. But his own father, Kola, was one of my dis disciples that lived with me that I maintained. But at the time, he also pulled out of me. He well, was like one man ranger. Ogundoku, Ogundoku is all. We want to contest the election. Ogundoku is there. We don't want to do anything in the way. So Ogundoku, he bolted out. As a matter of fact, his father was responsible for the burning of my house in estate and late by Yaremu's house too. But why? That's the father. He also has so many scuffles with the father to the extent of taking each other to the police. He has never believed that anything like this can come to his family to be over. And most people blindly followed him to be over. Me too, four days to his uh, crowning, I was dragged into it and I simply accepted him spending millions, millions, hundreds of millions. The trouble with him, he must learn to eat good food. The food that is not going to push his stomach or push his eyes. If you eat drunk food that will shake in your brain or shake in your eyes, ah, you will misbehave. Ah, eat good food, drink good for water. Don't drink what is not good. Again, let, let me take you back to the issue of there was a time the rumor was going around that Olu was dating a prominent uh, female in Niwo. Uh, could that be responsible for it? it no. Uh, no. No, he has been offending every, many people. He has tried to imprison some members of the royal families that I came out to even save them from jail. Like I saved him from jail also, when he caused the property of, of uh, Oluwoke destroyed. You know, I went to the exam of bringing up as a job to Iwo, getting the governor before we eventually escaped the jail. I think he, he have no respect to the rule of law, and he sees himself, you know, before he was calling himself God, but when the campaign was too much, he said, I'm not the agent of God. Somebody who previously believed that uh, it's everything. Now he says he's the father of all the... Now he doesn't want to see any idol or anything before. Now he's celebrating and patronizing them. Now he's the father of Ugo. He's the father of Oramiya. His father of everything. 
you've seen a lot of here and our near fee the way they comfort themselves with all the traditional rights in their domain. When he wanted to get hold of the Muslim in Iwo, he condemned everything. Because he knows Iwo has a very powerful Islamic uh, community. He has succeeded in getting that done, but now he has come back. Well, Along on Rashidi Lowo, I want to buy Baba Barry. Tolom Barra Lowo, Tobago, your Bagbo, Yellow Barare, Ni Canada, Totiwa. People that know KBS said he wasn't like this, proud, I mean, proud to coming to the throne. It wasn't like this. His exuberance is not us. He didn't have anything. He was very, very poor. He was a pauper. Not even in terms of wealth. Talking about his actions, the kind of exuberance he, he exudes now, that it, that wasn't in. You know, Oluwo drinks a lot of uh, spirit. Spirit can turn you to do anything. That's like Shinab, Vandi, and so on and so forth. In my presence, I've seen this. I advised him. And if you advise him again what he wants to do, you become his enemy. The, for example, Olu has not spoken to any of you in this world that I did this to him. He said I was interfering with his uh, right. What right? He wanted to remove Paris. I did it from Attorney General. I asked why you? He wanted to remove uh, Barista Aremun, now late. He wanted to remove those of Iwo. Why? Because Aregbe invited them as governor to find out from them the problem with the town why everybody deserted Oluwo except Ogundo Okun. They didn't say anything. I don't see any evidence that they spoke against him and he mounted serious campaign of wanting to remove them. Must anybody you think is doing anything against you be a subject of uh, destruction? I have never dabbled into his affairs, but I've advised him. He who pays the paper dictates it to him. I was maintaining him, feeding him, clothing him, gave him comfort. He's Nobody in his relationship with any with this world, they are receiving. I've seen the comfort and the type of good things I give him to enjoy. And for example, my trouble with him, I have no peace with him. He is the one who believes I'm too strong. I'm too, and he has not been able to move me an inch. Rather, he's been destroying himself. He's been losing credibility because he stepped on the Ashwagba. I am not about that. The Ashwagba. I am not letting your marriage be hala. On a on a lighter note, Iwo has been on the front burner for since he came into. Of course, Iwo has been there for ages, but in contemporary time, since Emperor Telu became the. <laughs> 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 to <end there>. <laughs> <laughs> come virtually on everyone's sleep but sincerely what has his reign his actions caused to from your perspective this unity destruction of the progress of the community nobody is ready to invest in a war people don't have job he make false claims and he run after other people to take their money. I believe that he was being relegated to the background. Do you know how many local governments were under Iwo in those days? Iwo has the mean the senatorial headquarters for Iwo, senatorial judge, all the major towns, Magan, Ikiri, Jibu, Ede, they were all under Iwo. They have all surpassed us. They have gone beyond us. Why well, see the beautiful type of houses you see in those places? And uh, I use my money to develop 
and do everything. Go there, the central mosque have upgraded it by building an extra extension that can take about 800 people. I built for you a new local government secretariat. Now, blind people, many of them, I pay them 10,000 10, every month. Not only that, I won't go that, that the Lord has been through their hijab and pay them money every month. But well, I just paid some day before yesterday. I want Igbo people to rise up now to help our people. Now, many people are now in very dangerous position because of lack of money. I pay a lot of lack for people I don't even know. <laughs> Since he came back, a lot of people are losing their properties to Lapu. Some have killed themselves. It's Lapu, I don't know, but I was okay. And uh, people are suffering. Me, I don't borrow money to people, I give out to people. I know living or passing woman has done that like I've done for the community. Scholarships. Help people to pay school fees, pay their jam papers. Not only we were even here. And last week, I know many people. One of them is even here. I do this. I do this everywhere. It's not a good time with the traditional rulers in Osho. It's not a good time with traditional rulers in the land. Long truth, emperor. Long truth, emir. All of, them, all of them, they are not good, only not enemies, all because he wants something from them. All of them, he will leave our throne. Sir, so, so anything that you saw, that you are feeding him, then taking care of him, so uh, put him on survival base? Every time they have an binding war, the government always give me the respect of existence. And I've been actively involved in many past bars. Like the past bar, I furnished the palace for him. Some of the chairs that I bought for him are still there. The bed I bought for him. That little bar I bought, I furnished the palace with 2.7 million. This one I furnished the palace with 5 billion million. Now, when they want to make an oba, they seek for my opinion and consent. Four days before this young man was made the oba, Aregba invited me, the governor, good governor invited me and said, Baba, I don't know who is your, who is your candidate. I want to drop whoever, I want to beg you. The, we've seen it on record that there is no law that is made without your involvement. I want to beg you, I have a candidate that I want to install on Monday and I want to support him. And he explained to me why, convincing explanation. And I gave him my word I will do. He said, you will be the father because he has no father. I didn't even ask who, the, who is the candidate will be. And I said, yeah, okay. I left him, I went to Lagos. The day of his installation, I drove, I came from Lagos to Iwo. I sat with the SSG, then the SSG, my shoot. When he came, people besieged him. They wouldn't let him move until I moved. I was the one who even piloted him to greet our people. Or know that I was swimming in the ocean of uh, uh, fire. We helped him. And he told me, he expressed his gratitude. He told me he was happy that he was, his father was no more. I should realize that. God has saved my own life for him to be over and that I'm his father. Very encouraging speech he made to me privately. So as I give him money, I'm protecting him. He has so many cases in court, wanting to destroy people. If you are with him today, the next thing we find any way to send you to jail. Go and read petitions by Anoba against other, even against other traditional rulers by him. Why should they engage your name? Why should they engage your laughing? 
Why should he tell like that? He always one that usually in Solulu Bada. Oh. I beg you, God will remove bad or bad and keep good or bad. There's another one that came out now in London that is really low. He said he's a real prince that this Olu impersonate him. I want to ask you that do you know his mother? Do you know his father? You know, I asked you on phone the other day that do you know the mother? No Rashidi's mother. But they said the woman died. I don't know her. I've never seen Rashidi until the day he was brought him to uh, the the front of uh, Ogun. And when he came they brought him there is a go house there, right in front of him. He has, he has broken it down. And they sat him down there, after which they now hold the uh, where Coco, which is right in front of Gon's building. They put him on before the Muslim came to do the Tobani. The man who do the Tobani that day is the same Imam that as I led to have had this wife being uh, I wanted to have his wife. Hmm. Oh yeah. it's, in fact it's a sorry sorry state. Sorry, oh, you will never explain what we are going through in the war. So is that a prayer for all the community in Yoruba land? Yes. My own is that I've spent a lot of money if I ask for the destruction. That money must have been wasted. So if you can help me pray for him to change, I would rather prefer that so that I'll be proud that the man I try to build up has not wasted my labor. How are you able to take back your uh, Bashar Muslimi title? Oh, I'm not Bashar Muslimi. I am the urban of Iwo. Did you not read the letter he wrote? Yes, I read, I read it. Uh -uh. Yeah, so one of your title, your Muslim title is Basharun, but your traditional title is Obang. My Muslim he said he said I it too. I'm still the ba Basharun Muslimi. We have gone to court. The court has restricted him that until the end of the case, he must not attempt to touch any of my titles. And you know, you read the letter. Yeah. In which he used to appoint me as uh, the urban law of the whole land. He described what and what I have done. Do you want another copy? No, I have the letter, sir. I have it. I, he said you have developed the town, that you brought uh, civilization to Iwo, and that all over the world, Iwo is known with the name Abelo Kundoku. He, he tells that. Even up to now, he said that because he held me to. Recently, he's been talking about no man is like Ogundoku in the world. He said that. And he may say that today again because they have a meeting with the royal members. And for information, this Friday, uh, the, all the royal houses, they met and they want to have a meeting with me on him. So they have written a letter asking me to please consent to the meeting. What, what, what will stop me from consenting to such meeting when I'm no good? So we are meeting on Friday at uh, this is a letter from the royal families in Iwola. In Iwola and it is said, Forum of Iwo Princes, Kamalubiri Office, Uluwo's Palace, Iwo. They didn't even put it. The Babelo Guluku and Lola's company, Salioba Quota, said, Whoa, there's sir, invitation to meeting. The above name forum hereby invites you to the meeting where some important issues are to be discussed. The meeting is to be held at Daudu Agbaz Mosque along the Light Road or the Daudu Junction. That is the junction before you get to my house. The issue to be discussed at the meeting requires your personal presence. And as such, the forum wants you to choose your convenient date and time for the meeting, preferably within a week of receipt of this letter. We shall be looking forward to your response as to the date and time of the meeting 
which will be communicated to the forum secretary via his phone number 080-322-47059. Thank you, yours pretty play. I print Joel Ademola Adebo, your secretary. I think this, uh, uh, this is pointing out to they have sat down to think there is something to work upon. Many international have really, really come into the matter. 